and welcome back to the withering cottage look who i found just meandering on the street who yeah. are you jeffrey i'm just jeffrey just what with, with real nifty <laughs> fish <laughs> with real nifty fish we are at cobb antique mall in cobb georgia cobb county georgia you yeah. know it better yeah. than i and we're gonna go treasure hunting we're gonna go see what we can find and buy for resale so without further ado let's go treasure hunting let's go see what we can Here is a beautiful six foot aluminum Christmas tree with its original box down there. Ta -da! And it's really not bad for a six foot. It's $2.95, but you know, too much for resale, but still really fun to find. Hopefully we'll find one today that I can buy. Let's make that our goal. We're gonna go for that. So let's see if we can't find one today. Beautiful though. Check out this vanity set. It's so cute. Vintage. What does it say? Bradley, Bradley vanity four piece set, ninety nine ninety nine. But that is so kitschy. I love that. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. I found a treasure. It is. Oh, where'd you go? Eighteen dollars, twenty percent off, and I love it. Brilliant. And what were you saying, Jeffrey? It's actually made by Miro Star out of New Jersey. It's so awesome. This is aluminum, just like your aluminum trees, but it's gold. And they have this like netting around the candles. Now we haven't plugged it in yet. We need to find an outlet to make sure it works. But if it does, we're getting it. I love it's it. It's going to be so good. I think it's really cool. I'm really debating on this, uh, this old starch tin. Very sweet scented starch. Once tried, always used. And it's 18, which is probably too much for resale, but I really, I don't know, I'm really liking it. I feel like there's room because of the subject matter. It's so good for Christmas too. I just think it's great. Here's some noise makers. Ending Halloween-y. Look, look, look at him. It's New Year's. Yeah, but look at, this, look at the situation. He's almost like the Monopoly guy. No, look at the guy. And him on the ground? Well, yeah. And, Who's that? Do What's he peeking at? <laughs> In there. That's what I was saying. No, I said we should look, see if any of them are Halloween. I don't think they're going to be. We could put There's a chickens. Halloween decal on that. Oh, and work. I wanted to show you guys another thing. Look at this. I love this. I just wish it weren't $60. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Occupy Japan Santa's sleigh. Oh, I love that. But for 60 I can't quite touch it. And Jeffrey won't buy it for me. Yeah. Cause rude. Hey, 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 I got an idea. What's that? I will buy this if you buy that that lithograph that I had in the beginning of my video. How much was it? Um, six ninety five. I'm sorry, what? Six six ninety five. Done. Six. That's a good deal. I feel like I made out on top with uh, that one. Six hundred and ninety five. Yeah, sold. Okay. I just picked up this. I really like it. Um, it is a genuine Cuisine fish necklace. It's $10. It is double-sided. It's in really good condition. And it comes in its original box. I think that's pretty neat. I really like the colors in it. So we're going to get this. I found this a Happy New Year from Nick and Etta, 1908. I just love the glitter in the moon. And I think I really like the airbrushing colors. I like the purple. But not dated, but, well, I mean, dated on the front, 1908. Not posted on the back, I mean. Um, I just really like the glitter, so I'm gonna pick this up too. And it's 20% off, $3 with 20 per Oh, even more beta. So yeah, we're gonna grab this one. Look at this fancy thing. We got a chenille girl with a cotton spun head on a basket wrapped in the, the metal, let's see what they say. Gold basket pipe cleaner figure with candy cane, 1950s, ten dollars. I do like it, but I don't think I'm gonna get it because I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of a basket. If like it was this. seven dollars, if it was six dollars, if it was free, if, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, he's not. My mom asked me to keep an eye out for some dollhouse furniture for her, and here we are. I'll just buy her the whole thing. No, she already has a house. This is three seventy nine. Like Furniture that. and all items included. Please do not spot. handle, but look, I oh, wish my know. bathroom was oh, that size. Open. Oh, you gotta get fresh air, Jeffrey. Yeah, you do. 
Dollhouses get stagnant, you know? Look, Dad's drinking a beer. Wait, no, you're not Dad. Little boy. You're not supposed to be drinking. What are you doing? Pretty cute. I found myself a present. These are little made in Germany um, figurines. They're 10, ooh, come on now. Oh, stop it. $10 for the pair and I think they're beautiful. So I'm gonna pick these up for moi. I found about four things at the last place, which I've done better and I've done worse. But now we are at our second location, Antiques and Interiors, also known as Queen of Hearts. We are still in the same county. It's only about eight minutes away from the other store. So now me and this guy are gonna go in this store and hopefully we'll do a little better. Hopefully they have their Christmas out. So we're gonna go check out the situation. So I know these little wooden mushroom ornaments aren't old, but I do believe they're probably handmade. So I think I'm gonna pick up a couple of these. I think they're adorable. They have the smaller one, they have the larger one, and then they have this one and the little yellow one. But I really like this one. Come to me. I like that one and that one. And I think maybe I will grab one more of a smaller one right here. And the small ones are three and the large one is four. So that's a good deal. So I'm gonna grab some of these. Here is a vintage ceramic Christmas tree. It's 95, which isn't bad for its size. And look at that little guy down there. Hello, buddy. And I love these candles. Those are so pretty. They are 150 for the pair, which I, I mean, that's doable if you are a collector. And these are really cute too. Christmas record covers. Those are cute. Those would look nice in a flower frog. I like this fire truck too. Looky fire truck, 22. Look at this dapper Dan with his green rhinestone eyes. Fair warning perfume, Japan. It's $15, but how amazing would that be for Halloween? And it looks like it's in perfect condition. It almost looks new. I am thinking about getting him. I probably will, but you I should. think he's pretty cool. Meow, meow, meow. Here is a poor little whole Howard Angel that's been recrafted. That's pretty cute. It's 28. I kind of like them um, the way they come, but and then they made this little diorama out of a vintage girly candle and some modern bottle brush trees that's cute and i love this piece this little vanity it's 75 but it is so cute i wish i had a place for it but this booth has a lot of cute things i think i like it i love i love that shelf oh, 110 oh, i kind of really want it but Again, I don't have a place for it. We also have some pyography. I wonder if Jeffrey saw that on the, on the pyography. I don't know, but, oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, is it modern? I think so. Well, fool me again. I keep getting full. We have made it to another store. I didn't film the intro. Oops, because you guys don't want to hear me blab so much with the same exact thing. But I did find these. Look how cute. They're little uh, matchbooks. And they're five dollars for the pair, so I think those are really cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab these. I found another thing. Look how cute the little mermaid trinket dish. There is a chip right there, but it's on the bottom, and I think it's really cute. And it's only six dollars or five thousand. We're not sure, but if it's six, I'm gonna get it because she's so cute. So put her in the buggy. I found another treasure in here. Let me show you. It's right here. Look at this. This is beautiful. I love the colors in it. It's $9.99 and I just think that's gorgeous. So we're going to pick that up too. We have made it to our next location. We are at Woodstock Antiques in Woodstock, Georgia. We have not had a very good day. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. But hopefully this will be what turns it around. Right, Jeffrey? Sure. Sure. So fingers crossed, toes crossed, we're going to find good stuff. Look at this Dapper Dan. So he's a handmade artisan brooch. And he is $15, but he's 25% off. And he's large. And I just think that they did a really good job. So I'm going to pick him up because I love his face paint. 
and I just think he's fun, so we're gonna grab him. He's gonna be the first item that goes into the cart. I found more mushrooms, but at this place, they're $1.50 more than at the last, so I'm glad I picked those up when I did. These are cute, Nick. Modern, but so fun to see. Look at all those colorful balls. Look at them. Just look at them. I love these stars. Oh, those are, those would look great on my tree. How much are they one base? I bet they do. I can't speak English anymore. 16. They're like not what I want to do. I know for modern too. They're reproductiones. This booth is 15% off. Is there anything worth having in here? Hmm? Oh, look. Just chilling. Eight dollars, fifteen percent off. Take it. Take it away, Ann. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away now. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Well, Jeffrey gave me the bluebird, so that's pretty good. I gave her the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Noel set. I don't know off the top of my head who makes it. Let's see. Oh, it's on the bottom. It's ninety-eight, and I can't. Hang on. Do you oh. think it's just a Nesco? I don't know. Oh, I like that. Look at that box. The enamel front, that's gorgeous too, but mm. I really like that Noel set. I wish it was lower. She's cute, she's 20. She's reading a book. And a little Santa planta. Oh look, Blue Mountain, Blue Mountain Pottery Bear. How much are you, Mr. Bear? 28, that's not bad. So there's a few things in this booth that caught my eye. I really like this scotch um, tape tin. I like that it's all white and it doesn't have the plaid on it. So I'm gonna get that. I also liked this fairy stories book, um, but unfortunately it's all colored in on the inside, but I love the cover of that, but I can't, can't get it with the coloring. That was seven. And then in here, which I don't know if it's unlocked. Oh, it is unlocked. Look at this box. That is beautiful. 27, Lowry's chocolate box. I might have to show this to Jeffrey. Jeffrey? I'm over here. Jeffrey? Let's see if he likes it. He was not impressed, but let me show you what else I found. So this is beautiful. Scientific American Journal of Science, Mechanics, and Arts. And if I'm not mistaken, that could be the Titanic. I'm not sure what year this is. 1907. So actually, mm. no, that's prior to the Titanic. Maybe they were building it. Possible. Well, I mean, I don't, yeah, that had Scientific America for original structures. So far, I'm not quite enthralled with the graphics, but I like the cover. Oh, I love these old ads. So I like the back too. That's some I love the old advertisements. And then there was this one. That one is ten ten nineteen dollars. And this one's twelve dollars. But I don't like the cover as much on this one. But it does have the cool advertisements on the back. But I don't think I'm gonna get either of them to be honest. But they're still really cool. I did find this collection of assorted vintage hat pins. It includes vase as found, and it has this beautiful collection of Victorian hat pins. Some of them are in the best condition, like this one. But I still think at $25, they look beautiful together in a cluster. So I'm gonna pick this up. Ah, the day is coming to an oh end. God. We are at the market in Woodstock, Georgia. Now this store has quite a lot of new stuff. But you can still find some treasures if you dig deep, deep enough. This has not been a very good day of shopping. I haven't found much, but at least I get to hang out with my friend. So we've had fun regardless. But hopefully we'll end today on a bang at this place. So let's head in. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is a reverse painted convex frame silhouette. with. I have never in my life. No, it's amazing. Like and then, look, I found this. I might buy it. Even at 80. I love it. Does it play music? It says it's musical. I don't know if it's still. Which direction would you? I don't know. Oh, here we go. There we go. I think I need this. I love it. I love that. I think I'm going to splurge because this is so me. We're splurging. Maybe I'll make an offer on this. Maybe I'll. Cool. 
Love it. I'm getting these two vintage made in Japan um, bottle brush trees. This one is 14 with the mercury. So pretty. And then this one is larger for 14. And I'm going to get both of those. And Jeffrey's in glass tree heaven. You don't understand. Like, look at all my trees. <laughs> I said trees of green. I ended up getting the tree. They didn't um, accept my offer, but it was 10% off. So 10% off of 80. I just love it. I'm going to keep it. So happy. And just like that, our day is done. I have it in my purse. Oh, God. Oh, he so thought he lovely. left his camera in there, but I, I, like a good friend, picked it up for him. But we are done for the day. We are exhausted. We are mm, tired. And I, I spent $250 <laughs> on glass trees. It's bonkers. You, are you happy about it? I'm kind of happy. I okay. Like, yeah, you know. You look good. And I spent 100 on three, not glass trees. So, any whoosies, waysies, thank you so much for hanging out with us today, guys. And we'll see you again next time on the <laughs> on the Withering Cottage. Bye.